What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to build a speaker cooler that can play music and hold beverages. So basically what I did, I already put this one in, I'm going to show you guys how to put this one in. Basically what you do is you cut this out to spec with this, oh, with this, and then I cut it out with the sawzall, which probably wasn't the best, but I'd cut it out with the jigsaw if you have one. And then what I'm going to do is basically put this on there and heat it up with a paint stripper gun and then it will melt. I'm going to heat up this part right here and it will melt down so I can fit that in there. It's got ways to go, maybe five inches. So like this one, I kind of messed up. It burnt. Oh, it cut through. So hopefully with this one I can do that. But it should look a lot cleaner than that. So what I did, I took some silicone and I put it all the way around the edges of this so there's a complete seal. To hide the amp, I put it up on the top of the cooler. There's like a like a two or three inch gap. I ran an aux from the other side is right here. So you can just plug your, your phone in and play it straight from there. And then I ran the ground <coughs> right down here. To the battery which I taped on and it's pretty sturdy it's gonna stay there I might have to get a bigger battery because this one is just uh it doesn't actually ground it doesn't ground well enough because I I think that's what's happening I'm not sure if you guys know what the problem is when I plug that in it has static on the other other end I'll show you guys what's going on the ins going on on the inside because when I heat gunned the plastic on the other side, I pushed through it. I guess I wasn't slow enough or I didn't take too much caution because it ripped a little bit. So when you guys are trying to do that, make sure you do it slow and steady and make sure make sure that you have smaller speakers, like smaller width speakers. Because these are a little too um, wide because it wasn't, I had to just bend out the plastic so much. I think that's what did it. So, make sure when you, uh, I wanted to make sure to fill up all the gaps. So I just put a bunch of this uh, foam in there and hardened up and hopefully it's waterproof now. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell how good it sounds, but it sounds pretty decent. Pretty loud, pretty good uh, mids and lows. Um, and then the tweeters in the middle do a good job of getting those highs. I hope that answered all the questions that you guys had about how to make a cooler speaker. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, just leave it below and I'll answer them.